It started as strangers coming together in the heart of Kentucky at the Beaumont Inn. It has become an annual pilgrimage for friends from around the world. Welcome to Whiskey Weekend, everybody. has always been at the center of everything the podcast represents. And while you may have come for the whiskey, you'll take with you family that will last forever. Friends, it's time. This is Whiskey Weekend. Welcome back to the podcast, everyone. I'm Will. I'm joined by my co-host over here, the Grease. Say hello, Grease. What's up, everybody? Guys, there is a situation. Will, why don't you tell them about it? Yeah, we're going to get into some incredible news. The world is a flutter with, with buzz, as they say. But I did want to get into one thing before we get to what's going on in this world and some of the conspiracy theories behind it. Uh, we did want to talk about Whiskey Weekend real quick. We're going to talk about a lot this uh, this eve because we are live tonight we are coming to you live because we've got important things to tell you about but we also want to do a push for whiskey weekend batch five franklin tennessee you've got just shy of a month left yeah we we're have, going to retailers where yeah. we're doing allocation yeah. drawings yeah we are going to jack daniels for probably my favorite uh it's gonna, situation it's gonna be incredible the, our entire group is going to be taking over Miss Mary Bobos for breakfast, right? With some uh, some Jack Daniels celebrities, right? Through, and then later on, they're just rolling out a huge cocktail bar. Yeah, we're going to have a cocktail party. We're going to have tastings. It's going to be a, a blast. If you've never been to Jack Daniels, this is going to be the way to experience it. But also, we've got, uh, or even if you have oh, been before, we're going to do a giant barrel pick with everyone. Leapers at Fork. Leapers Fork. I love Leapers Fork whiskey. You've heard me talk about it a lot. But we're, we're gonna, gonna have the biggest rush that single barrel selection that I'm aware of. Right. We ever. did some research. We did do some research. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it may be it may be earth shattering, record breaking. But if you want to come to that, whiskeytainment.com. That's all you got to do. We had five people buy tickets yesterday. Five uh -huh. extra people yeah. said, you know what? Under a month, not going without let's me. Let's do this. Not going without me. So check it out whiskeytainment.com that's whiskeytainment.com we want you there with us we are doing this live because we want to push that but also we've got uh, some other things we want to talk about this yeah is, this i is mean we're, we're live because there's some events that are happening like this past weekend and today yeah that are somewhat troubling so within the last eight days something unprecedented in peacetime has i hate happening. the word unprecedented well it's not, there is no precedent for it in, in right. peacetime. it I, is unprecedented i like things to be as they are yeah you know yeah like grilled cheese <laughs> right it's precedented don't put you arugula on grilled cheese that's unprecedented i love arugula i don't think you know what unprecedented means it has nothing to do with grilled cheese. there's no precedent yeah but what does it have to do with grilled cheese and arugula so you don't want the grilled cheese to be be unprecedented as far as how you make it i got it it just needs to be in the pocket sure yeah so, so what's unprecedented so, Will? well we've been you know the united states have been shooting down objects <laughs> in the sky <laughs> right over our nation i think it's the first time norad has ever had to deploy like a defensive weapon like they've sent they've scrambled aircraft before but right at least that they're publicly saying it's the first time they've ever launched missiles and, uh, over over our territory <laughs> and there was there was i can't remember who it was it was some big big person will's gonna know who it is that literally came out and said i'm gonna leave it up to so and so yeah no that's I'm, actually i'm the, currently uh, unaware that was of the, what's happening it was the commander of of norad uh of, oh so just, of north com so he's the commander he's a general in the air force general van herk and he, he he not only said you know i didn't know about all this stuff because clearly there's some domain 
uh, domain information gaps or something, which is something you want the commander to be saying. But also, uh, he's he was asked directly. Does that mean he just doesn't know where these it's objects? From? Yeah, no, like his domain, there was awareness gaps. Oh. Like they didn't know what was going on. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. People Did, are probably didn't they say we something like we need people on the ground to take pictures of this stuff? Uh, no, no. Well, I mean, like that their be... people, not like random. Oh, their people. No, no, no. Okay, but uh, people were really wondering how's this getting into whiskey? I'll get there. We'll get there. Oh, a hundred percent. So he it's also got everything to do with whiskey. Was asked directly, you know, is it? Uh, could it be? You haven't attributed this to a country or a company? They were real vague. Right. They said could be an entity. We don't know who's and then are. one reporter just came out and said it. The only questions we're getting yeah. um, is this aliens or extraterrestrial. And life. that same general, the one who had domain awareness gaps, he goes, you know, I haven't ruled out anything. <laughs> I'm going to let the intelligence communities come up with that answer. Right. So, so people are like, what's going on? Everyone's talking about this. Right. Nobody's talking about the Super Bowl. We're talking about everything. None missile of this launched. happened. To our knowledge, prior to that company, what company was it? Mystic Farm and Distillery out of North Carolina announcing their space bourbon. Right. Now, we now not like Space Force, not like a branch of the military, but just a space bourbon. Yeah, they they are sending up five barrels of their forty five percent weeded bourbon, and I, according to the press release, there's no rye in it at all. It, it's a hundred <laughs> or malted barley. It's it's forty five wheat, fifty five corn, so it's a. Uh, it, I don't know how they're fermenting this bad boy, but they're sending up five barrels of this heavily wheated bourbon to age for a year in low Earth orbit. They're going to bottle it at a hundred proof, and you can buy one of the expected a thousand to fifteen hundred bottles for the low price. Of well, it's it's just you exchange an NFT for it, but you got to buy the NFT. Right, for I was going to get five thousand dollars, seventy five thousand dollars, yeah. and you buy an NFT, which you can then trade in, yeah, for the whiskey at a future date. Right. This has red flags all over it. Will <laughs> this has this has the coolest cooler Kickstarter written all over it. Number one, I highly doubt sales are going to be where they need to be. Well, one, who's to say, who's to say, but two, I mean, what on God's green earth is that is weightlessness going to do to it? I, I feel like gravity is probably more of a friend. Well, yeah, you'd think in seasons, seasons tend to do things for it. I mean, unless they put it outside, they can aren't. they put it outside. No, it's going to be on some sort of. Craft. OK, so there's no heat. There's well, literally gonna, no it's heat. It's going to be climate control. Well, outside would be all cold, no heat. Space is freezing cold. It is? Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought if it was closer to the sun, it'd be hot. You'd think that. Yeah? <laughs> no, but outside oh, it's the because, atmosphere, it's real cold. Bud. It's because the, the moon is circling the earth, and so it's getting a lot of wind. No. And so it just cools it off. Mm -mm, no, it's because no, there's, that's no how it works. there's no atmosphere to hold in the heat. You know, you could solve global warming just by well, the atmosphere poking a little hole in the. Oh, hole with the... hang on just a second, Patrick. If you're watching, Why don't you... FaceTime us during the middle of the broadcast. You don't know what's going on. He doesn't. So, uh, all that to say, though, we we don't know what these objects are, and none of these things were being shot down prior to right. us being told that they're going to try to age bourbon in space. Right. So we they threw that out there, and then all this other stuff started happening. Brandon, Do you think the whiskey is already in space? No. They said they're still working out the whole thing with, like, SpaceX and Bank of America, so clearly they still need funding. <laughs> like, yeah, okay. Like, they got to afford to be... That's why it's so expensive, probably, is to store it on there for a year and the payload of a, of a, of a satellite or something. It's expensive. I wonder. I so you're think, saying they're going to hook these things up to satellites? That's how it's being taken up and placed in space in orbit for a year. It's going to be inside the satellite. That's the way it reads. Yeah, some sort of satellite. A satellite is just something that's orbiting the Earth. And typically, uh, yeah. what SpaceX is doing is is placing satellites into orbit. I mean, like right. technically, a meteor can be a. Um, our moon is a satellite. 
of of the earth. Okay. Did that blow your mind? <laughs> well, I mean, like, what kind of information does the moon like no, shoot back at satellite us? Satellite doesn't mean necessarily it's a communication device. Oh. Those are communication satellites. Somebody should tell that to POD. <laughs> Or, or uh, Dave Matthews. Or myself. That's to... Uh... <laughs> Satellite in my eyes like a bourbon in the sky. Shoot it down. It's my uh, so Brandon, who's watching... Give us a he, Grammy. He did want to know if, if Grease thought the balloons were just actually the divisional shift. Like, is that... <laughs> you, you, you got it off a little bit. You were a little wrong. It has ev everything to do with it. Sure. For sure. Yeah. A hundred percent. Have you noticed the Oregon situation? Guess where that balloon went gonna, really close to. We're going to talk about that on next week's show, actually, too. Right. The, yeah. We're going to talk about all the scandals. Yeah. So what are your thoughts? Uh, uh, jokes aside, the parody of it being connected specifically to, for legal purposes, we're saying, uh, the, right. the objects that are floating not necessarily connected to mystic farm you know what i think and but what, what are your 100 percent? what are your thoughts right now about space aged whiskey um bourbon precisely. the aliens saw that we were going to put whiskey in space <laughs> you're not you're not diverting it was seventy five thousand dollars. they were like oh hey no we ain't doing that yeah so now they've inserted the balloons in order it's like a red herring essentially yeah they're they're distracting us down here with all these daggum balloons. They're not looking up in the sky of, of them getting prepared on the backside of the moon. Yeah. Getting prepared. The staging ground for the invasion. Uh -huh. Well, not the invasion. They're just going to go for the whiskey, and then they're going to sell it on the secondary uh, <laughs> galactic empire. They get a lot more credits that way. Credits? Yeah, that's, you know. Full credits. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, Star Wars. Okay. Was, okay. okay. Direct Star Wars. Right? But it was portion, right? Two portions. No, I think there's some credits somewhere. Credits. Too. Yeah, there's credits. Depends on your the well, when monetary they the, denomination. When they did the pod racing. It was definitely credits. Well, you like that. Yeah. Oh, Dang, I'm always saying it. All right. I'm going to leave that yeah. alone. So, uh, all that aside, aliens aside, uh, spy, spy balloons aside, what are your <laughs> thoughts on the $75,000 bottle? It does come with a 50 milliliter sample, so you don't have to open it. Yeah, ISO the 50 milliliter sample. I don't want your <laughs> bottle. <laughs> well, you can't just buy the sample. It comes with it for the. I know, but somebody bottle. else is going to buy it, and then I mean, if you think about it, look, you don't need that new car. Yeah. Why would you need that new car? Get that's the a, that's a heck of a new car. Oh uh, he yeah, heck of a new car. Just it's like a minivan these days. <sighs> Yeah, they got all them USB ports. Yeah, a little fridge in the console. Speaking of USB ports, this whiskey in space. Yeah, one, I, I am, I am totally fine with them doing this. Sure, age it on a river, age it on sea, age it however you want to, throw it up into space. I think it's a. I want to know what it tastes like. Sure. Here's the deal, though. They need to have a before. 50 milliliter and an after film. So 50 milliliter. they are going to be releasing one that will be kind of more widely available, but same distillate. Essentially. I think they're calling it either launch pad or mission control. It's something like that. Like it's still the same theme. Okay. But that is that the same whiskey essentially that never was sent up. So they're, they're sending up the five barrels, like the crap barrels. No, but I'm saying so that there will be a contrast <laughs> and everyone can buy the regular one. But only the only the owners of the of the the fortunate few, as they say. You're going to space. You're going to space. Well, no, You're it's going bottled, to space. It's bottled later. It's just the barrels. Oh, I know. I was pointing to the barrels. Oh, I the barrels are I, all just sitting there, like, bro, what's up? Like, yeah. Oh, you're going to be the regular stuff. You're, you're anthropomorphizing the barrels. Right. Yeah. I wonder if the whiskey will love being weightless. Um, I am. I am be? intrigued. I, I do. I would love to try that. I so, will not be able to. I saw a tweet that essentially said, um, like, what you've never seen is the world's greatest master distiller say, you know what this whiskey needs? Space. Some sort of weird aging. <laughs> like, 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 <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh -huh. at, on the river. And that's kind of the, the I guess I'm I'm more OK with the. 
the ones that are, I'm torn on the concept, right? Okay, here's here's why I'm torn. For the scientific weirdness of it, I kind of dig. Like I kind of like them saying, let's like if Buffalo Trace said we're gonna send a barrel up, see what happens, and then bring it back and then report back to you. <clears throat> What I don't like is not immediately going to the seventy five thousand dollars. Seventy five thousand dollar price point is where they're like, you know what? First of all, I, I don't even know if you can recoup. Like it's got to be so expensive to try to to pull this project off. I'd be I'd be more understanding if somehow there was like a, a grant that the University of Kentucky got to send barrels up as a part of a government project and then some study but it just seems so odd that they went for yeah we're gonna do it in seventy five thousand dollars for a bottle you would think somebody's already done it right as a test well oh so ardbeg the scottish distillery they yes. sent some samples up i believe it was samples or maybe smaller containers samples sorry i had like a, i've got some post nasal drip going on oh so oh. <laughs> But uh, th so they sent some some whiskey up to the International Space Station and then it came back and it was like for a, a some sort of tasting they did. It wasn't like available to the public. So as far as as you can see, is that this is the first time this has been publicly available space whiskey. Now, I was curious at first when this first started coming out, I was like, hmm, are they going to try to claim that they I didn't know if it was new make. They were just sending barrels up. Oh, They're having to age it here first. Right. I think probably so it can be called bourbon. <laughs> because it's not. It's not. It me in the United States. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the secondary aging bourbon whiskey finished space. finished in space. Aged for an extra year. Would they have to? In zero would they have gravity. to call that finished? Uh, I mean. What does the it's, air have to be like? It's an extra eight. Well, I'm just saying we're in new extra, charted territory. Will uh, a new frontier, a new frontier. final frontier, as they say. So not my final. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's all I got on the space whiskey. Yeah. Is there any conspiracies that you could see coming from this? Yeah, pretty much just went over all of them. <laughs> that actually, it's not. A, a hostile foreign government that's sending objects. It's actually just this same company, you know, trying out right. different things. What if it's this company Octagonal trying to balloons. go halfway to space and it's all their balloons? Well, also, I'm I'm curious what they consider space. <laughs> right. Because they, they get, did say the outskirts. But they say lower Earth orbit. So technically it's like, is it outer space or is it inside space? I think we're all inside space. No, but there's outer space. Right, but that's like out. You're asking where the line is. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know where that line is. I don't know if we figure that out. I mean, someone's got It's line. some instrumentation pressurized system, something. Some guy's like, got the, Oh, we've hit 20,000 kilobit pressure system. Someone has a, 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 a meter for that. You know, like a beep, beep. Yeah, I beep. know what that is. Across I just, the line. I didn't think space, it was no. the meat thermometer. <laughs> Somebody's got a meter. I call. It. What do you call your meat thermometer? A meter. Yeah. That's hey, check the meter. See, <laughs> see what the temp. Hey is. man, check out meter man. See what that. See what the internal temp is on that steak. That right steak now. at one twenty five. Yeah. You don't want to put that meter in a steak though, dude. It makes a hole about that big and, and just oozes out all the goodness. Yes. Well, that's why I do sous vide, man. That's why I know what the internal temp of my steak is. I don't need a, a meter. Yeah, you do do that. I, I want one. <laughs> you said do do. Got him. All right. You did. You got anything else to add to this space whiskey? No, I. All the kids are talking about. I think. Is there any. Is there a question on there or a statement that we need to elaborate on? My thing is, one, I'm okay with this thing going down. I'm actually okay with the price, too. I mean, what. I'm does not. that even exist? Well, it's also here's the deal. I'm not buying. Be, I wouldn't buy it if it was five grand. They they're saying first it's five barrels, and they're expecting a thousand to fifteen hundred bottles. So they're not expecting there to be a ton of evaporation, which probably mm -hmm. checks out once it goes to space. It's not getting the heat to cause evaporation, right? Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, a thousand to fifteen hundred bottles for $75,000, it almost doesn't seem rare enough. Yeah, it's like what they're going to make 3 and a half million dollars on that. Well, rough math. They will 
uh, uh, gross that gross much. that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who knows how much it's going to cost? I bet it's in the hundreds of thousands. I don't know it's for a probably, full year to be a payload. Well, for they don't a have full to year. do. Well, they don't have to, Oh, and saying, then they have to go fetch it. <laughs> they got to go fetch it. Yeah, you go fetch that whiskey. <laughs> How you do I that wonder what with that a, process like is going to be like. Very expensive rocket launch. Could you see some just like spent guy? He's like, let's just let's just say he's like, you know, the janitor of the space world. And he's like, I got to go up there and get that whiskey. <laughs> go fetch that whiskey. Go fetch that. And he gets hey, up there Mitch. and he's just pulling those barrels and getting them back into the His ship. His name and, is Mitch, right? A hundred percent. Mitch, go fetch that whiskey. So Mitch, so Mitch, okay. <laughs> So he, so son of a Mitch comes over there and goes in and grabs those barrels and you know, he's upset. Yeah. These things, these things are going to taste anything different. Like, he's oh just, yeah. He's, he's like, just mad. He's there. It's just going, it just sat there inert for a year. And it's like, Mitch, how'd you know the word inert? Right. And you know what he said? He goes, I'm the space janitor. I know all these fancy words. Because when, when they orbit, it's not like that whiskey goes to the outer edge of that orbit. It's, well, it's, it's also how maybe if it's going gonna, fast, is it almost like a um, like a centrifuge? Are you talking about like like where it they could age it an additional year because it throws of, you against the edge? That's a, probably a better experiment. <laughs> Fair whiskey, carnival whiskey, and what you do is you put a barrel and you attach it to one of them centrifuges that make people throw up you yeah. know where they're sitting there and you slide up and you get weightless well no because yeah oh that's and then it's uh bottled in carney yeah aged an additional and then but you'd have to have someone that their entire job was keeping an eye on it for two reasons either <laughs> <laughs> i don't know why but you're so serious right now and I love either it. carney drinks all the whiskey uh -huh. like they, they're definitely drilling 100%. a hole in the bottom but then they're also filling it back up so they don't get caught and it's what are they filling it back up with <sighs> they're peeing it guaranteed carnies are peeing in the barrel they're, they're not putting whiskey back in no there. Sweet, no they could, wouldn't could waste be it. like sweet tea no they're not wasting consumables in that way they're peeing in it guaranteed or what if they just put some concrete in there to weigh it down no, then they'd be caught as well. It's also concrete a lot heavier than whiskey. Oh, yeah. And then that, that would then I that would that. Uh, that would make the the centrifuge all cattywampus, like a like a tire that's out of balance. Oh, and that's a good. Foam, foam, foam. That's a good. That's a barrel pick name. So in in orbit, could that could the whiskey cause it to come out of? Oh, it's path. Oh, because it's heavy. It's five barrels. That's a, this is a well, That's a heavy is relative in space. Yeah, I'm also going to be honest. Right. First of all, no gravity. Second, I don't know how much things weigh that go on these things. Right. I assume quite a bit. So maybe whiskey is like the lightest payload that they have. It's possible. Yeah. We don't know though. There's a lot well, we don't the, know. I'll be the, be the spy balloon from China had these wings on it that were as big as buses. Yeah, like two or three buses. I so think. you have to think that it's going to be in the middle. Kind of like my graphic. Hub. I'm really proud of that thumbnail. Oh yeah, this, the thumbnail is spot on. Maybe best thumbnail of all time. Um, I'm really glad you covered up the top of that bottle because it's suspect. If anybody googles that bottle. It doesn't. It, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. The other thing is the galactic it's a tad bottle. Sexual. It, it looks. It it definitely looks like the the like the Saturn capsule that they would come back down in. You know, like the the bottom part. It looks yes. almost like a beaker. Yes. Yes. But that the the spacemen <laughs> astronauts would the spacemen would return in with the with the old um, parachute land in the ocean right, right. it looks well, like some that. of them it land now like in that. the desert it looks like that from the from the um kind of the neck down neck up looks borderline um not safe for work right let's put it that way <laughs> right yeah right what do they call that when you're talking about those things but you're you there's like a there's like a not safe for work no no no, no. 
I'm trying to think of what you call what you call that <laughs> respectfully. There's like a respectable word that you could call that. Smut? <laughs> What's he talking about? I don't know what you're talking about at all. <laughs> no idea. Res- <laughs> respectable and that's the only thing that are came not to mind. in the same. That's the only thing that came to mind. I don't know what's respectable about. No, it's the. <laughs> I can't, I don't want to say these words because I don't know hey, if they're bad or yeah, not. I wouldn't. No. Hey, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and put that out there. If you are concerned about the definition of something. Oh, yeah. No, you don't put it Whether out there. it's vulgarities or not. Right. You personally should avoid that. Yeah. At all costs. Anything in the chat going down or is it? Not much. It... Our buddy Mike Ives, who I believe is coming to Whiskey Weekend, correct? No. Uh, he, uh, they're, they're headed, I think, on vacation or for something, but he and his wife thought about coming by. Dropping it. by like for just a night on the way through. Got it. Got it. Got yeah, it. That... Anyhow. Well, never mind then. I was going to say something nice, but no, he just gave us a lesson about like the ionosphere and stuff. And that's where I started to see the numbers in the chat plummet. Um, yeah. Isn't his son in the air force? Um, you're the one who had more details than I did. But I think his son or somebody is in the air force in that family. Yeah. They could have some inside info. Good. We're going to need to get to the bottom of that. Yeah. So Mike, if you're listening in the I mean, chat, he, he clearly is. If you need if you can hook us up with some you know, extra intel. Cuz apparently the Department of NORAD or whatever his name is, <laughs> the the Department of NORAD executive, dude, I have ribs all over my jeans. Barbecue ribs. That's what they're calling that. Well, I had to yeah. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very questionable show at this yeah. point. Um, let's talk about how do you like weekend, this pick? What is this? This Good. is Fairview's uh, Jack Daniels Barrel Proof. This, if you had given me 15 chances to name the distillery it's from, I would not have said Jack Daniels. Off profile. On Buffalo Trace profile. Like it tastes like. I could see that. Yeah, it tastes like a. There's a there's, a there's a there's t- a tad bit of maple on the back end of the nose. Yeah, they could kind of like, oh, okay, maybe. But yeah, it's very good, very good. Mm. Mike did say my son's. So yes, you did get that right. I think um, he said my son's unit was on call for that South Carolina shoot down, but there were no sidewinders available at Seymour Johnson in North Carolina. Whoa, 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 whoa! First whoa. of all, you just you ran out. Why do we not have having... sidewinders when we want them or need them? Well, they did. They called the other guys. Clearly. What's a sidewinder? Missile, right? Yeah. A9. Yeah, but he just said they didn't have them. At, that, so, uh, at, at where his son Exactly. Was. I know. That's what I'm saying. Was like, how they do you just need them. How do you just run out? It's not like we're using them that often. Here. They probably they well, they probably use them for training. <laughs> But why, makes, I don't think so. It's why? Expensive. Why is not all? Why are our military jets not ready to go ah, right now? Mike said they had plenty of runway. Mm-hmm. Oh, they sure that did. Checks out. Yeah, some um, deep state stuff there. Hey, they have like like literally <laughs> the <laughs> deepest of state. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Um, you have you know what's at Langley, right? Uh, yeah, the CIA. Okay, I was about to say, I'm like yeah. either that you made a. A great accidental joke. No, or you nailed it. Which no, you nailed it. So pretty deep. Good for you. <laughs> um, do they have any more of these picks out of peer view? No, this was That's over awesome. a year ago. We picked it. The foolproof. Oh no, we went on a rye that was pick. the rye one. Yeah, that was the rye one. one. So was it was good. it was right before. Um, it was right before that. It was the one with the um, uh, with Wyatt Earp on it from Tombstone. Yeah. Yeah, that, that one's that one. That one is just built for comfort well, and speed. Let's talk about Fairview and, and Whiskey Weekend for a little bit. So, oh, yeah, we're going to Fairview. So uh if you do one thing tonight, if you're watching and you do one thing, consider coming to Whiskey Weekend. Or just go to whiskeytainment.com and read about it. Read about it. Look at yeah. it. Consider it. So we are it, it's it's gonna be limited in in uh attendees 
because of of the sh- the divisional shift <laughs> in the fall. Um, when... You're a little out of focus. We need to be on the same plane. Yeah, there you care. go. Um, Your skin's super soft looking. Yeah, that's what my wife said. <laughs> you look so soft, honey. Um, that's weird. Not what I meant, but let's keep going. Skin, skin <laughs> so soft, man. Yeah. So we, um, yeah. So we're we're limited to a hundred people, and we still have some spot, spots available, and we'd love for them to be filled because it's going to be. Uh, one of the best we've ever done. It's going to have some of the most unique experiences we've ever done. It's going to be some of the greatest memories we've made with our our friends. Already looking at the OGs that are coming, as well as some of our new friends, uh, including people that are in town hall level, yeah. in um, virtual bar night level. Yeah, if you want to meet, you know, a hundred people that'll be your friends, <laughs> this is this is what to do. Yeah, and, and so it, big time friendships made. It's going to be a a unique balance of really cool curated activities and um, opportunities to mix and blend with each other. Um, we are starting it off. The very first thing we're doing, and it's uh, March 9th through the 13th. Is that the date? March 9th. Well, checkout is on Sunday the 12th. So it's actually the 9th, 10th, and 11th. I missed the 11th. People are coming in early, though, for Wednesday night for a big bottle share, which bottle shares are every night, but that one's going to be the kickoff. And then we um, hit the the bus out at 11 a.m. the next day. Thursday, we head out, and we're doing a liquor store crawl. I've never heard of anyone doing such a thing. But one of the main things we love about our, our community here is the friendships we made at liquor stores with some really great people and really great palates. And so we're going to hit up three of those that have stock of, of their single barrels. These are single barrels. If you're from out of town, you've heard us talk about countlessly um, red dog, wine and spirits, Fairview uh, wine and spirits and uh, elixir wine and spirits Yeah, and or liquors and fine wines in, <clears throat> in Fairview case. But what we're going to do is we're going to go take over the store and they're going to have barrel picks available and you can go pick them up there. You can try them while you're there. We're, we're going to be pouring. Each of these places have like a, an area where you can actually pour the single barrels. Yep. Um, and Will and I are going to be pouring samples out for everybody so that you can taste them before you buy them. Yeah. And, and that's one. It's a cool feature of Tennessee, but you'll get to try these out, see which ones you want to take home with you um, because we are licensed, by the way. Yeah, we do have our ABC cards, so we can do that. But that is one positive thing about Tennessee and about every whiskey weekend. Everyone always leaves home with a bunch of bottles that they went and picked up. So we're going to our favorite places. You're going to get to try them before you buy them and uh, and just hang out. And 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 it's a good, almost like, do you remember like old progressive dinners where you'd like go to different places and eat, like eat the appetizer here and then you go to someone else's house and eat the main course and then you go yeah. to, so yeah. it's like it's a progressive a dinner for progressive dinner, yeah. for for uh, whiskey drinking yeah. at liquor stores, and we're also going to have raffles for allocated products. Allocated products, yeah. so at those liquor stores that they held back at for each one. At each one, there's going to be a couple of offerings, yeah. um, higher end stuff. I know there's a lot be in the mix. Yeah, um, so it's going to be um, stuff that was held back for our people specifically from the allocation season that just passed. So that's right. pretty cool as well is that while other people were trying to get bottles, obviously it's not one for everyone, but there's the opportunity to get it is, is afforded to our group because of, of who we are. And so we're really excited about that. Um, we are also going to Jack Daniels. I mentioned that earlier, uh, really cool setup there. It reminds me a lot of the way that things went down at Buffalo trace. The first time we went there, uh, in Whiskey Week in Batch One. Oh, that was a where cool it was just tour. Like the, the red carpet's going to be rolled out for us, and um, we are going to we're going to go to uh, first to Miss Mary Bobo's, which is a, a restaurant, that's iconic owned, restaurant, owned Jack. by the distillery, but it's um, it's iconic. People have to get reservations to get in there. We're going to go and have breakfast there, and it's rented out the 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 distillery reserve the entire restaurant for our group. So. That's really cool. I've never heard of that being done. Um, 
uh, I was told it may have happened for lunch once or twice, but it's very rare that this opportunity happens. Um, they're going to have people from the distillery coming in and, and talking to us in different rooms and, and just greeting us and, and talking us about, about what we're about to do and, and just whatever, just, yeah, just really being good hosts. And then we're going to go on a tour of the distillery. We'll break up into different groups because of the size of our party, but they'll take us through. And then we're going to have a, um, a great, uh, whiskey tasting of products at Jack Daniels. Um, that, uh, I don't know which one specifically, but the entire point is to do have things, things that, that people do. haven't, haven't tried or, or right. may not have the opportunity to just go get, we'll hit the, their bottle shop. There is pretty great. Typically. Yeah. Um, they normally have you some personalized, uh, glass etched bottles. Yeah. And they normally have some like the taster series from the past. If they still have it left over, they have like, we released a, a video today, the distillery, series. right? The distillery series will be there as well. Yeah. Um, Tennessee just, only. So just a fun thing. And then after that, we're going to have a, a cocktail reception where, uh, some more people from the distillery will be available to hang out. Chat, and chat and, tell, yeah. Um, I'll take my shirt off. Probably you've done it before. And uh, yeah, so the, and we'll have cocktails and drinks there. So that I mean, just a full day um, at 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 Jack Daniels, and then we'll we'll head back and and have stuff in there. And then the third marquee event is at Lieber's Fork, where we are. And, and I looked into doing the actually the Guinness Book of World Records, um, and with the way we shifted it. Um, if if things had been if we didn't have our like life get in the way, I probably would have still tried to find a way to get it sponsored and done because it was going to cost twenty thousand dollars to get someone out here, certify it, like all that stuff. Like it was going to be. Oh, yeah. They got back to me of how much it would cost to actually certify the record. Twenty thousand. It was going to be twenty thousand dollars. So we're not doing that. No, but we would have if we had like found a, a marquee. We should go fund that. me that. But anyhow, what our, the entire premise was is is that we're doing the largest barrel pick that like we have the largest tasting panel for a barrel pick ever, and so right. what we're gonna do is they acknowledge that we that we would they acknowledge that we would have the record we would just have to pay to certify that's what I mean they can't say in right. writing yes you have the record because they have to send someone out to make right. it official to, but they were. They well, were at least they're not saying me, no. Sorry, that's going to be less than so and so. No, I mean they could send it out and they decide no. Actually, you didn't break the record. Oh, <laughs> in theory, but it would have been creating a new record, right? Because there's not one on the books. Yeah, right. So I think there's there's stuff that for their purposes that go into that. But anyhow, that's that was the the thing. But we are still doing this. It's going to be a um probably right at a hundred. Uh, we're we're going to try to make it get to a hundred. But, um, and, and so hopefully you can be a part of this, go check out whiskey to be a part of this, but we're going to have, I think four or five barrels that we're going to drink from and everyone's going to taste from all of them. And so that means bottles are coming out uh, of, of those barrels. Yeah. And then we're going to, well, something unique that we did with going to do a giant vote. Right. So very, uh, something very unique we did us. with Lee, the master distiller and owner at Lieber's is that we said you choose three great barrels and go ahead and bottle them. Yeah. Then we will take said product and pour it for everybody. And then they get to vote a B or C, whichever one wins that will now be available in the gift shop. And we're going to have a special sticker for everybody to get and put on the bottle when we get it. Yeah. Um, and so, that's something unique that I think is that not only do you get to go on the pick, you get to walk away with it that day. And yeah. I think that was pretty important for us when we built this experience. So we're really excited about it. Um, Leapers Fork is a special place. I, I really love the the whiskey they're making, but I also love uh, Lee Kennedy yeah. and, and the stuff they're doing. There. Dude, do you know how in, in um, <coughs> innovative this is like the, has anybody ever done a barrel pick like this? I don't know. I, I haven't so. ever heard of that. The amount of people it's already bottled. You get to take it home with you. Like, do you, that's not a thing. Yeah. I haven't I've experienced that. Yeah. I've never heard of that. I mean, Knob Creek, you could used to go 
pick the make the selection they would bottle it for you right there and, and but it still had to ship out well they gave they would give you like a bottle of it yeah but i'm saying it's still oh yeah it's shipped through the distributor and through the and three slash stuff. maybe even two tier system maybe 47 we'll talk about that next week one tier yeah yeah stay tuned next week will be a good show <laughs> um we're recording it tonight yeah yeah we are i know oh oh i thought you were like that sounded like it had a like you went up at the end like a question like we're recording <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> oh god dude it's the anniversary of poop oh like the actual winnie the pooh what do you mean the actual Not whiskey the pooh winnie the pooh no yeah 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 winnie the pooh it's like his like i don't know and like came out in what like 1973 or something like that no it was like the 20s bud i think that's cool yeah okay so maybe 37 well because winnie the pooh itself is public domain now not red shirt poo, like Disney. Oh, poo. like the old scary one. Oh, I mean, that's shit. why they're coming out of that movie. Yeah, yeah, blood and honey. That's what it's called. Yeah, Winnie the Pooh, blood and honey. <laughs> Sounds like a Hardy's biscuit. Blood and honey. <laughs> Dream, my adolescent. Oh, I, I have it on on good authority that cinnamon and raisin biscuits are coming back in the fall at Hardy's. Oh, yeah. How about that? How about it? I don't even like those, but um, yeah, I'm not a big fan. One of my, um, one but of my have you had like... their cinnamon rolls, by the way? No. I went the other day. I went fishing. I didn't know they had cinnamon super rolls. Super early in the morning, um, and my parents are in town, and so I knew that getting up, like I wasn't just abandoning Samantha with the kids in the morning on a Saturday. My parents were there to like get up and play with the kids. So I went fishing, and I on my way home, I picked up Hardy's biscuits, and I saw they had cinnamon rolls, so I got that for the kids. Is the kids, my kids eat a giant breakfast. Henry, oh, really? Like, is like Gaston and do they eat like garbage gum, like mine? Beauty and the Beast. No, they're like multiple eggs. Mm. Uh, see, so yeah, that's like good. the healthy Cheerios, not like the honey nut. Um, oh, so y'all got it on lock yogurt and fruit all in, but they so I knew that they would my kids like pancakes. I was fine giving them a like a like a sweet treat. I'm trying to like project right. like I'm a really good like right. my children, well you're but... you're not supposed to put sweets on a pedestal will. Oh that's I saw that on a go. mom's group this Mom, past Momstagram. Um but yes. so anyhow I brought them home this these cinnamon rolls from Hardy's because I never had them so good. Yeah like center of the the Cinnabon I liked it better than Cinnabon. Cinnabon almost had too much cinnamon. This was like, they backed it off a little bit. Was it gooey? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. Okay. So those are good. Pro tip. Pro tip. Pro tip. <laughs> um, you want to go to the 15? I would love to go to the 15. All right. right. Hit the music. Pow. Go. I did it. Yeah. I did hit the music right. All right, so, so like, let's do this. All right, you close, cover your eyes. And we'll okay, shoot that you want to tell them what we're doing? That real quick. I'm going to let the first one that um, comments pick. Or maybe I'll just pick. Um, oh, this is kind of funny. I don't have a water. But it's fine. You want me to kind of, I've got water yeah, in just, here. Yeah, just give me a little scotch. I mean, there's some backwash on it, but you've done worse for less. Well, it's my water. So. All right, so this is a blind. Yeah, so I went to the store before um, before we come back from the 15. I went to the store, and there were two things that were interesting to me that I picked up that we've never had either. And But I know what they – but I've seen them. I know them about them. You so what in God's green earth are we doing it blind for? Just to buy our past blind? Because I think it could give – yeah, yeah. I'm, I, don't, I don't care if you guess what it is or not. Right. I'm more. You're going to tell me the me. dollar amount. They both cost the exact same amount. And I'll tell you that right now, but I'll also reiterate on the show. Okay. Or do you want to drink it first before I tell you the dollar amount? These are both. I would. I, these are like moderate price bottles now in, in whiskey pricing. So neither like were 70 still, bucks lower. 49, $49. Right. Um, Dude, there's something <coughs> I, I can't get it out. Zach Jones said do the left one. I don't know if I want to do the left one. My left or yours? Yeah, he doesn't even know. All right. So I just turn around. Yeah. Okay. Let's come back first. Oh, no, because I want. I have to pour it. 
Oh, yeah. Okay. So go ahead and pour it. So it's just one? Yeah, I'm just doing one because we can do right. the other one on. Ne- That's what we'll do. We'll do the other one the exact same way on next week's show. How about that? Yeah. Are you looking? No. You did. No, I didn't. I did not see it. Oh, this is like mad madness. Looking, you cheated already. Well, I was looking at, I was looking at this thing. Right. Hold, please, because I have to show the people what they're drinking that are watching. Thank you all for watching. Keep your eyes. Don't look. Don't look. I'm not looking. Good golly. I don't. I wouldn't even know what I was looking at, dude. If it's stuff that I don't know. All right. Even if I saw the bottle shape. All right, we're good. <clears throat> and we're back from the 15 so say we never left will all right folks hey thanks everyone for listening this week sorry it's a day late than how we have been we actually went live on youtube because we wanted one actually i wasn't feeling great last week and then we had a busy week so we didn't record last week right two uh we wanted to bring you this extremely pressing news about the old uh what you call it a spy balloon whiskey and <laughs> and to tell you about whiskey weekend whiskey and to talk about whiskey weekend so next week though we'll get back on our schedule where uh we're doing the premiere but thanks everyone for watching on oh on youtube as well give a thumbs up while you're at it i forgot to tell everybody at whiskey weekend whiskeytainment.com um stuff and whiskey josh and aaron are going to be there oh yeah okay. chad and sarah from it's bourbon night is going to be there yeah shayla from from whiskey, whiskey central. central yeah james and bob from bs and bourbon and us so hey, you know what and I'm, we're just gonna be casually hanging all all the time so for those of you listening i poured up some bourbon for grease oh i just gave away that it's a bourbon sorry i poured okay. up some poured up some let bourbon me, let me for grease. uh i went to yes, the that's store, a bourbon well. I went to the store i picked this up i've never had this and there's 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 some i don't know um, I already told you beforehand, it was $49.99. I told the people in the break and I told you during the 15, $49.99. Um, it's blind. So I don't really care if you have a guess of what it is or not. I'm just more wanting without any sort of, uh, uh, bias towards label brand, um, anything, any preconceived notions. I just want you to know the price and, uh, and you to go after it. Okay. And you can talk about it. You can say, I think it's uh, What exactly do you call going after it? What do you mean? Like I mean, shooting it? No, no. I mean, you can like say, if you want to go, like, I feel like it, it is 125 proof. I feel like it's eight to 12 years old. Like, I mean, you can do all those things if you want, but I, it, I'm not like going to rate you on your performance in that Copy that. manner. Copy that. I'm, I'm taking the pressure off. You can do this how you want to do this. Okay. What what do you want to know from me on this? Uh essentially uh what we do every 15, I want to know Got your it. buy bar pass rating. Bright nose, the nose little ethanol. Is, but it, it's, but it does have some it's got some flavor. Um, sweetness to yeah. it, like on the nose itself. Right. Did did you already show our yes. YouTube yeah. audience? YouTube what? audience saw what it is. They know they, what it is. Um, they know what proof it is. No, I don't know if they could see what proof it is. So right, I'm diving in. Um, mm, a lot of corn. Oh, it almost is butterscotch on the nose, though. A lot of corn. It's got that corny tea thing going on. Yeah, it's not like if corn was tea, that's what it would be. Sweet, a little caramel on the, on sweet. the finish. Like yeah. the caramel really comes through. On the wait, finish. is <laughs> is this the uh, fifty-five forty-five? galactic empire oh, bottle. Yeah. oh yeah already went ahead and got you i a, will say this it tastes exactly like dollars. like that mash bill oh yeah because we had i think we had that whiskey <sighs> more you know 55 percent corn 45 percent wheat that yeah it feels there, like it, it is very sweet mm-hmm. not bad Mm-mm. it's the got, color is very light very light i will say this it doesn't drink how it looks no it's i can enjoy this just like i can enjoy other younger stuff yeah but this this feels like it doesn't feel like a five-year-old mgp okay 
this feels like a two-year-old MGP. Okay. Not even MGP. It doesn't taste like MGP at all. I'm no. Gonna throw, I mean, I know what it is. No, but, but you I know mean, what I'm talking I about. I don't know. All that product, the five-year MGP stuff is coming out. Like, you get some age on that stuff. Like, it's it's nice. You know, obviously, yeah. it is nice. Everybody's grabbing that stuff up and selling it, right? Now, I will say for the youngness and the sweetness, it doesn't have a, a grainy corn. No, it's not grainy it's corn. Not it's like just sweet corn. It's cereal-y or grainy. Yeah, it's, it's just sweet corn. Yeah, there, yeah, there's nothing. It almost tastes like cream corn. And it doesn't really bite at all either. There, there's not something there that's jarring. What do you think the proof is on this? Because you said you got ethanol in the nose, and you said it is... It's low. Okay. I'm going to say... I'll just say 90 just to be safe on it. Okay. I mean, I did have barrel-proof Jack Daniels before this. That so probably hurts. I probably should if have that's, thought about if that. If that's factored in, I'll say what 105. That, okay. But I would say 90 uh, if if I was acclimated correctly. But okay. It, it's probably 100, 105, somewhere in there. And then age, you think it's two year? I think it's two years old. Okay. Yeah. All right. You want to see what it is? Yeah. Oh, no, no. First, buy bar pass, $50 <sighs> with with the flavor. I like, don't think a drinking. lot of people are going to like this. I appreciate it. Yeah. Um, I can, I can dig a product like this. I'm not going to drink it all the time. So I'm going to, I'm going to say that this is a bar. Okay. I'm, I think it's unique. I think it's sweet. I don't think you could make a cocktail with it. Cause I think it's too sweet. Mm. Honestly, mm -hmm. I think that it, it has to be drank how it is. Uh, even like put it, even like mixing it with Coke, it would just be way too sweet. If you could just get the youngness out of like the back mid palate, it would be real. The sweetness on the front end is delightful. Here's the problem. What? It's it is fifty dollars, and I think that for what it is, I think I'm actually a pass. Copy that for the. I mean, the flavors. It's not. I'm just that. saying for me personally. No, it's I probably know. I'm It's just, probably I'm, a pass for. I'm, I'm everybody giving, watching. I'm just giving my rating. And I have more context than you. I was I was hoping for a little bit more from this. Um, and I think I'm just a pass because it's it it's unique, but it's not like unique in a way I want to like share you it. gotta try this. Oh it's yeah, that's unique. a very good point. So I'm probably just a pass because it's 50 bucks. That's a very good point. Better stuff. But this is a single barrel. Clyde Mace. Clyde Mace. It's 102 proof. Okay. Um Five year old, five. Yeah. What are they doing to this? So this was barreled in 2016 and then bottled in 2021. So they've had this for a minute. This is at Cool Springs Wine and Spirits. Okay. This may be the most precious single barrel hang tag ever. Oh, dude. Well, you know, Clyde Mays is very DIY. They're, I mean, they're, they're, they're very Alabama. Will but look at this. It's like they they printed it on like a. Oh, and they didn't even get the dimensions jet. right. They didn't get the dimensions right. You can't really see it if you're watching, but if you're listening, there's like a white border that's not supposed to be there on th two of the sides. And then on top of that, they didn't calibrate their inkjet properly. So there's like those yeah. scan lines, lines on it. and yeah. it's just picked exclusively for Cool Springs, unless, unless Cool Springs just did this themselves. But yeah. It could have been. But you know what is funny? What? How, they, how old is it? It's five years old, and it is MGP. It is MGP. Yeah, it tastes nothing like MGP. It's their distillate. Um, <sighs> yeah, I've never tasted MGP that sweet. What's the mash bill? Does it even say? Say like a hundred percent corn? No, hundred percent corn. I mean, um, it doesn't say the mash bill. Oh man, I would love to know it. Clyde May. Single barrel so select. I, I had the old Alabama style of this way back in the day, Which where that they was actually like flavored that was with apples. Bourbon. Yeah, that yeah, was... it was with apples. When I first had it, young in my journey of whiskey, mm -hmm. I actually enjoyed that. Bottle. Yeah, you. No, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. You like flavored whiskey. That's been kind of your jam for. I don't like flavored whiskey. No, you you liked Clyde Mays and you like Fireball. Well, I accidentally bought that Knob Creek Maple, and I don't want to hear any more about it. Okay, well, that's just because you don't like Canadians. That was the worst bottle I've ever had. I'm just... It's Knob Creek Maple. 
I was actually hoping that this was going to be good. 50 bucks. I'm a pass. It's pretty steep. Yeah, I'm a pass. For All what right. it is. For what it is. Yeah. Now it's a five year old single barrel MGP. Yeah. Now, Todd, the, the, our they buddy picked Todd, this. I know. I'm and not. It's clearly been around for a minute. I'm saying like Clyde Mays picked it, Cool Springs picked it. Like, it's, there's no age on that. There's age. It's, it's just a different age. It's sweet. It's sweet, but it it tastes like it's two or or maybe even less years old. Yeah. Sorry. Pass. Makes me want to say a pass. Pass. Makes me want to say a pass just because it it does meet my expectations. Like if I if if I went in the store. And picked this thing up and said, This is a five year old MGP at 105 proof. I'd be like, And it's yeah. a single barrel select. This is going to be a home run. Right. But it's not. Yeah. It's not a home run. It is not. It's, like I said, it's, it's not, not even not close. Bad. It's not bad whiskey. It's just not what I want to drink. <laughs> yeah. No, it's not bad. It, it's not bad. All it's right. just not $50 and it's definitely not five years old. I'm going to contact the TTB on this. <laughs> All right, folks. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for watching. Go to whiskeytainment.com. Join us March 9th through the 12th in Franklin, Tennessee at Whiskey Weekend Batch 5. Homecoming. Homecoming. Get and if there. you want to get our special hotel rate, you need to hurry up and buy tickets. And if you already have a ticket, hurry up and get your hotel room because our block rate ends on the 17th of that's February. Right. Yeah. So you have a, so hop a on it into this week. ASAP. All right, folks. Thank you so much. Join us at Whiskey Weekend by going to whiskeytainment.com. And we don't know Jack, but we'll drink it, baby. Thank y'all. Love y'all. Mean it. Oh, I forgot. I got a, uh oh. Thanks, guys. Buttons. This was super fun. Yeah. Uh, it's not a, it's touch, not screen. a touch screen. <laughs> it's like a 2016 Apple. Yeah. Oh, hey, before we go. Speaking of Apple. Oh, Ty did send us uh, $5 in the mail because he loves us. Oh, Love you too, Ty. Thank you, Ty. Thank you for sending us $5 in the mail. Bye. You're That's the old best. school, if you know. You, most people.